Atlanta's Inspiration Station, Praise 1025. It's KD Bo Show. In the studio with me, I've got this brother, and I've been talking to him off the air, man. He is he's that dude, like real talk. Uh, professor, Dr. Kevin E. James. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing well. Thank you for having me today. Are you a professor, though? Yes, I also teach as well. Yes. Really? Yes. I actually uh, started my career teaching. And I uh, became a professor, college dean, and now interim president of Morris Brown College. There you go. Okay, so let's let's go there. Okay, yeah. so it's, interim it's levels president. to this thing. So, <laughs> what, what I didn't know was I didn't know that the school was still that the students were still going there. And you told me off air, hey, yes. we never closed. We never closed. Eighteen eighty one, and we've been open since then. Wow. Yeah. A lot of people they correlate losing accreditation to closing. And yes, we did lose a lot of students, but we never have closed. Uh, we currently actually have uh, 42 students, and we have uh, 20 students graduating with their degrees next month. Okay. Yes. So why did it? Okay, I know you lost your accreditation, but for people that don't know, like myself, what is the accreditation process, and how did you guys lose yours? Sure. Well, I, I like to say this about historically black colleges. Most HBCUs, and when I say most, I mean nine out of ten HBCUs, they either lose their accreditation, go on warning, go on probation. It's never because of academics. Mm. It's always because of finances. Because a lot of times, you know, individuals who graduate from our our HBCUs, they don't give back the way that they should. Mm. And then also raising dollars, sometimes it can be difficult. Why do you think that is, though? You know, it's a lot of theories out there. Um, I have my own personal theories. What's yours? I want to hear it. You know, man, oh, man, they made me stand in financial aid line too long. Or... <laughs> Are you serious? Petty. Petty. Petty why? So, sometimes. Why? But, you know, that that's that's not the masses of the reason, I understand, reasons, yeah. reasons why. But we just a lot of times don't do it. And sometimes, you know, in my viewpoint, it's about the why. Okay. We have we have to show the why it's important to give back to our HBCUs. The same way that you would give to your church, you have we have to put in the mindset of the community that you need to give back to your historically black college or to those uh, colleges in your community. Because, you know, when you look at the HBCU um around the HBCUs around the country, we are primarily responsible for the black middle class. Okay. Okay. And, and just it. that that statistic alone of, you know, 80% of black PhDs come from HBCUs. Black dentists, pharmacists, lawyers, et cetera, were primarily educated at historically black colleges. So are you, are you on your way to getting your accreditation back? Yes, we're on our way right now. As of two weeks ago, we officially became a, became a correspondent school with the Transnational Association of Christian Colleges and Schools. Wait a minute. We're going to hit our Christian roots. That's good stuff, Our man. Christian roots. You know, we were founded in the basement of Big Bethel AME Church. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we've, we've had – and people keep asking me, how has this school stayed open so long, God? Look at God. Look at God. Are you a preacher? No, man. Everyone keeps asking me. <laughs> you got a little preacher on you. Hey, man. Everyone keeps asking me, am I a pastor? I'm not a pastor. I am a college president. Hey, when you got the job, did you walk in there and you say, I, I want to say something to you all today, and I, <laughs> I feel it has it been my spirit. You know, and it's interesting you say that because our chairman of the board is a pastor. Okay. Yeah, you know, he's uh, the sixth district um, uh, bishop of the Amy okay. Church. And so, yeah. yeah. Uh, here with uh, Dr. Kevin James. Uh, so, man, I, you, you have a daunting task, or do you believe it is a daunting task yes. to rebuild? I don't know if you're rebuilding the, the heritage, because the heritage is what it is, yes. but rebuilding the brand yes. of Morris Brown. And what does that look like? Yes, it's a very daunting da- task. And the reason why I say that, and I don't even hide this when I interview with individuals, I call it the triple threat, mm. the, the, the beautiful disaster. We filed a $30 million bankruptcy um, a few years ago, okay. Chapter 11. We lost our accreditation, and we had to sell a lot of our assets and our land. Most people would run from that. I'm running to it. I feel like God sent me to Morris Brown to help to, to restore the school. Mm. And so we're in the process of doing that right now, of rebranding ourselves, telling the story that we've never closed, making sure that we have the best academic programs, mm. making sure that we have the best academic services. And we're going to rebound. We're going to be a candidate for accreditation within 12 to 18 months. And mm. Morris Brown is going to come back stronger than ever. So you're saying God called you to this? I, I feel so, yes. Absolutely. So the teachers that are going to be the professors and the teachers and what have you that are there? Yes. What's calling them? Well, hopefully it'll be our brand and our mission of educating students, helping students to be able to better themselves and to be our future leaders of this country. So you lost your accreditation because of money purposes. Y'all have money now? We're raising money. We're going to need the help of the community to, to, to raise those dollars. My goal right now is to raise $5 million within the next three to six months. Okay. To put in the bank. 
not even touch it. Hmm. What we're going to have to do with our accrediting body is to show that we have dollars in the bank, that we have an endowment, that we have resources, that if we went belly up today, that we could still operate. Wow. And so we're currently working on that. And so in any of your listeners who want to help us, they can go to our website, morrisbrown.edu. There's a lot of different ways you can give. Please give to Morris Brown College. Help us to restore the school. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, so I want to talk just a little bit about, uh, about black. Sure. Especially black men. Yes. Uh, what is what's the percentage uh, ratio uh, traditionally of Morris Brown, uh, female to male? Yeah, well, right now it's about 60-40. And, you know, we have to do a lot, a better job of getting black men to go to college. It's a very, um, uh, touches my heart to do that. I work very closely in the community through the 100 black men of Atlanta, specifically uh, with our male students over at Best Academy. So it's a very, very uh, a daunting task to get more black men to go to college. You did a video, um, a vigil. Yes. Um, honoring... Nipsey Hussle. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, when I think about black men and the violence that is perpetuated towards us, yeah, it saddens me that there is no real outrage. Right. That it has become normalized. And I was telling some of my friends the other day mm. that you can mistreat a dog. Wow. On video. Right. You will go to jail. Yes. There will be a, a huge outcry. Yes. You can't say anything negative to a woman, and you shouldn't. Right. Nor should you mistreat dogs. Sure. Shouldn't can't say anything negative to a woman, a person of, you know, that that's not straight. They're, you know, you right. know homosexual. Right. But when you can just watch a black man get killed, right. shot, there's no strangled, outrage. And there's no outrage. Right. There's no visceral cry. Right. It's it's just business as usual. Right. What what are you going to do? And I'm, right. I'm not trying to put all this on you, but, right. you, but you anointed. You said, God, God, okay. Yeah, I, what, I do what, what, what do you feel like your role is to help stave that off to, I don't know necessarily to cause an outcry, but to make people wake the heck up, man. Right, right, right. Well, you know, historically, black colleges were very involved with, 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 the, uh, uh, with social, cultural, right. um, nonviolence, all of those types of are- arenas. And so a lot of schools have kind of pushed away from being involved in social issues. Why is that? I, you know, I have my own opinion on it. I don't know if I want to say it on the air. But, I got you. But, but, I but, respect that. You know, at the end of the day, historically black colleges, we need to go back to the basics of being involved with, with you know, pushing social justice issues out there. A lot of schools have, 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 have shied away from it, you know. And so I think that Morris Brown, as we resurrect, um, that we will be definitely involved with social just, justice issues, dealing with black uh, black males, and just really pushing the school and pushing our community um, forward. I like you, man. You got an edge on you. Well, thank you. I like that. You got an edge. Um, <laughs> you're from uh, Columbia, South Carolina. Yes. You don't think it's country, but whatever. Okay, yeah. I got you. It's, you're, it's, you're in country. I get you. But you got an edge on you, man. I think you're, you're the right guy for this. Thank um, you. And so just that's just a, a, a feeling that I have. Yes. You know, we talked about Man Up Community off the air. Yes. Uh, tell me, what can we do as an organization of men in this city? Sure. Um, that are committed to change, positive families, community. What can we do to help? You? Sure. Well, man, hey, man, we would love to come, for you to come out and do some seminars on our campus. We would love that. Yeah. Um, you know, we're right now use, utilizing our campus for different social events, sure. community events. We would love to partner with your organization. Okay. Um, and anyone else out there who's listening, who's interested in partnering with us, we definitely welcome that opportunity. Final thing. Yes, sir. It's vision cast. So we're looking uh, three years down the road. Yes. Tell me what Morris Brown looks like. Morris Brown will have our accreditation. We will be one of the top HBCUs, top colleges in the city of Atlanta and in the state of Georgia. Uh, We will come back stronger than ever. Come on, man. That's it, man. Restore Morris Brown, the hard reset. Is that, is that, wait a minute, hold on. Is that a hashtag? That hashtag, restore Morris Brown, hashtag the hard reset. The hard reset. That's it. Man, I love it. And you know, it's interesting, I got that from my pastor. My pastor, uh, William Murphy at the Dream Center, preached a sermon on the hard reset. And it stuck it, it stuck with me. Wow. And that became more that became our hashtag. I love it. Yes, Dr. Sir. Kevin James, interim uh, uh president of Morris Brown, but eventually we'll take that interim off. Yes, sir. You're gonna, you're gonna be the, <laughs> the, 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 the straight up dude. Okay, good. <laughs> I appreciate you, man, for stopping by. Thank you, sir, for having me. Indeed. Yes, sir.